All right. <clears throat> Praise the Lord, Pastor Steve Sterling from the Dallas Revival Center. Um, got some information for you. I believe it'll help you in the month of June because I believe it's a June. It's a wonderful month of uh, accumulation, acceleration, and maturation of everything good that's going to come into play, into uh, workability, and uh, things are going to transact wonderfully. Uh, in this month. Thank you, Jesus. And we've got some reasons why. In John 5.24, it says, Truly, truly, Jesus, as I say to you, whosoever hears my word and believes him who sent me, talking about God the Father, and then listens to his word, and, and believes him who sent me, has eternal life. So eternal life sets in when you hear and believe. And uh, the Bible says he does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. So judgment is not a factor when belief is uh, restored and completed. Uh, and so if judgment's not there, then we pass from death to life. Death has no consequence. Death has no specificity. Death has no reality. But life, and Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and have it what more abundantly, more abundantly. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes 3.11, it says he's made everything in his time. He has also put eternity into man's heart. See, and that's the key. Eternity has been placed in the heart of the believer, of the born-again person. And so... Uh, life is a key word. It's not a byword. It's the main reference. It is the main uh, protocol and the main issue in a person's um, living out their legacy. Hallelujah. Because we know that the eternal life is a gift that's given by God, Romans 6, 23. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. See? The, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So in Christ, we have eternal life. It's a free gift. It's been given. And um, because of that gift, uh, everything is gratis. Everything is gratuitous. Everything is uh, sumptuous. And everything is uh, a matter of fact, uh, fact that, you know, God is in control and um Eternal things work over mortal things and finite things and things that are temporal. So we have full sway and full play uh, in life to have anything to, and to, to uh, aspire and to gain anything, to get anything, to gather anything that our hearts desire in Christ. Alleluia. And that everlasting works constantly and incessantly, feverishly, forcibly to uh, work out all the kinks and all of the uh, snarls and all of the uh, crooked areas of our life and to line things out, to bring things uh, uh, into operation beautifully from the kingdom of God. In Psalm 90 verse 2, it says, before the mountains were brought forth or ever you had formed the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. So uh, everlasting to everlasting is what happens now as a person has received Jesus Christ. It's an everlasting flow, everlasting go, everlasting goodness, everlasting godness, everlasting greatness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And, of course, eternal life, you know, what is it? Well, John 17, 3, this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you've sent. So when you know Jesus Christ and you know, therefore, you know God, uh, then eternal life is something that uh, you can uh, manifest, something that you can work with, something that you can uh, adhere to and uh work and will and uh, wealth with and operate in uh, far beyond anything, again, in the natural realm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And, uh, you know, um, 
And of course, Matthew twenty five forty six says, "But the righteousness, but but the righteous, the righteous unto eternal life." It says and and these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. So, um, eternal consequences and punishment are, are erased, eradicated, removed, uh, knocked out of the way, knocked out of uh, the play, knocked out of anything that can galvanize and govern us. Uh, but righteousness, uh, a right standing with God, our moral fabric and fiber uh, in Christ Jesus has given us the ability to, to eternally work in life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, it's it's amazing, isn't it? The way God works and the way, what God does and how he does it and how he brings things about and how he brings things uh, into play. And um, we got to give God glory. Amen. So eternity uh, is, is something that uh, it's a place. Not only a thing, but it's a place. In Isaiah fifty-seven fifteen, for thus says the whole, the one who is high and lifted up, who inhabits eternity. Look at that, inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. See, God inhabits eternity, infinity. You know, in other words, endlessness, uh, ceaselessness, constantness. You know, continuation. In other words, that's the realm that God lives in. Nothing can stop and drop him. Nothing can move him out of his place of eternity. The one who inhabits eternity. Amen. So there you have it. Uh, it's not only a. Uh, it's not only a thing. It's a. It's a place. Hallelujah. And uh, when you have the Spirit of God, you have eternal life working in you. Galatians six eight four. The one who sows to his own flesh will from his flesh reap corruption but the one who sows to the spirit will from the spirit reap eternal life so the holy spirit can just to turn us out and move it to places to the proximity of that place of eternity the realm of eternity that seated eternity that position of eternity and gives us uh, far better outcomes than the world could ever even contemplate, can even know. Amen. Oh, that God is at work, he's moving, and he's doing things that have been called in from eternity past and working in eternity present, and working us into eternity future. And that is the way it is. Yeah. Because we know that he's an everlasting king. Jeremiah 10.10, for the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and the everlasting king. Everlasting king. Immortal king. Immortal king. Working specifically and prolifically. Amen. To let you live and have life and have more abundantly. He is the living God, and the eternal, everlasting King. Is the true King. So the true uh, puts to bed the sham, the fakery, the thievery, the conniving, the, and, and all these things, and, and lets his wonderfulness be out in our life to uh, live it and spit it. Prayer. Continue to watch move. It's June. It's Man, it keep scooping with that spoon of faith and watch it move in miraculous. Bye bye for now.